very much like the army that protects us from our enemy the white blood cells the soldiers of our immune system protect us from our enemies enemies of our health the infections and the cancers unfortunately some children are born with a defect in their immune system and that is why they are not able to fight infections and they are predisposed to infections cancers and autoimmunity we call these diseases the primary immune deficiencies or the inborn errors of immunity one in 1200 individuals suffer from a primary immune deficiency these diseases are not rare but then this is not one disease it's a heterogeneous group of diseases with more than 400 diseases described to date with increasing awareness amongst the medical fraternity and with advanced testing facilities we are able to diagnose more and more of these children and adults with primary immune deficiencies at astasia my pat my son chetas was diagnosed to have primary immune deficiency at astasia my hospital almost two and a half years back though he was not keeping well from the very first day of his life he has had several episodes of chest infection cough fever and because of that we had to visit hospital many times for almost 2 to 2 and a half years it was only when we met dr sagar batad a pediatric immunologist at aster he could able to diagnose my son's underlying condition of primary immune deficiency which is called hyper igm syndrome he has told that you know our son with this immune deficiency will not be able to fight infections like any other kids so the option we had left was to go for bone marrow transplant at astor cm hospital under the safe hands of dr stalin and dr agron his mother ashwini has donated bone marrow to him it was 2 years back we did the bone marrow transplant and my son is doing great thanks to almighty and thanks to the doctors who has helped us to lead a healthy life and i would pray all children with immune deficiency get diagnosed and treated timely thank you when i was around 10 to 12 years old i started catching recurrent infections my parent took me to the nearby doctor the symptoms got recovered after 7 to 8 days again after 1 to 2 months the same prop symptoms start getting my growth was that much stagnant due to these problems we were little bit worried so what is happening inside my body i have to visit my doctor at each and every 1 to 2 months so he told me to visit Uh, nearest pulmonologist and all my immunoglobulin levels were low to take the immunoglobulin therapy is little bit hard but he managed to convince me for last 8 years i am taking the immunoglobulin therapy and my infection rates are very much low and yes it is working good on me uh, my growth is also coming towards the normal path uh, currently i am working as a software engineer hi i am roxana from pid pws pid pws is an advocacy group for the patients suffering from primary immune deficiency formed in the year 2013 ever since its formation pid pws has made its mission to improve awareness access to early diagnosis and optimal treatment for pids across india to overcome this challenge we have been organizing awareness programs for doctors nurses medical students and general public in large to ensure early diagnosis and um, easy access to the treatment and ensure better living for our pids as well as their families the biggest challenge we are facing are lack of awareness among the medical fraternity as well as the general public due to which the patients are misdiagnosed 
or undiagnosed and they succumb at very early age to these infections. PIDPWS is also successful in getting free access to the treatment that is IVIG therapy which is considered to be the life-saving therapy for most of the PID patients. PIDPWS has remarkably grown from just 7 PID families to 120 PID families in the recent years. In the current situation of COVID-19, the biggest challenge we are expecting very soon is the shortage of plasma. IVIG, which is considered to be the life-saving drug for, these, for most of the PIDs, is a blood plasma derivative. And if, if we do not have enough blood or plasma, then we, we fall short of IVIG as well. Currently, we have been working in the state of Karnataka. Our future plan is to extend our support and guidance to the patients across India and also advocate with their government for the free access to the IVIG therapy, which needs to be infused every 21 days to most of the PIDs. We have even moved a file with the government of Karnataka to initiate newborn screening for skid, which is a serious condition. And if the child is not diagnosed on time and the treatment does not happen on time, then the child may succumb to this serious condition. PIDPWS is very closely associated with its PID families. As we believe, it's not very easy to raise a child with a rare disease like primary immune deficiency where the life of the child is so so unpredictable. At present a large number of children and adults with immune deficiencies in the community continue to remain undiagnosed and they suffer. They suffer for several months sometimes for years. We can help them, we can treat them but for that to happen the primary care physicians, the pediatricians on one hand and the society at the second must be made aware about these conditions. April 22 to 29th, this last week of April, has been observed across the globe as the World Primary Immunodeficiency Week, the PI Week. And the sole aim is to increase awareness across the globe about these conditions and to support these families with primary immunodeficiency. The science of immunology has been making significant progress. Today, we are able to cure many children with primary immune deficiency with bone marrow transplants at ASTCMI. It is our constant endeavor to provide a normal, a healthier life to every child with primary immune deficiency. And the entire medical team at ASTCMI, the doctors, the nursing staff and the management is committed to the cause of care and cure of all the families with immune deficiencies. Thank you.